You see everybody like living their life just in between these mountains and valleys. That's wild. Hawaii got the landscape for sure. Very jealous. Y'all, what's good? Okay. Starting off the day, let's go. We're going to the Diamond Head Trail, and I'm, I'm not even gonna give it proper intro. I'm gonna just show y'all what's good. So let's see. I'm really excited. Um, it's been a minute, but I'm really excited to go hiking. So I'm gonna keep y'all. Watch your stuff. All right, y'all, so we are cruising up a nice little hill. We had our shuttle pick us up. We have the Go City Pass, and this was part of one of the excursions we could choose from. And so the shuttle picked us up and dropped us back off in a timely manner from the hike we're going on. We are heading to the Diamond Head so we can hike. It's a mild to moderate hike, I would say. But that said, the view is gorgeous. Just going up there. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with Hawaii's landscape. Do you see this? The sun, the clouds, all of this? Why does this look like something out of a dream? Some type of paradise? Wow, that's amazing. Anyways, we are heading up. Our tour guide was very funny and he was informative. He was saying that apparently Hawaii's beaches, the sand came from another island. And so he was like, we're playing in another man's sand. I was weak off of that. But that said, we are here. All right, all right, looking pretty cute. We came with a group and so we entered with our group but we did not have to stay together. They did require that you have to wear a mask due to, you know, the thing, the 2020 thing. That's a lot of people ended up taking them off when we were far apart from each other. I did feel like the hike was mild and I am not an avid hiker. One bottle of water did the trick. It wasn't too hot like oh my gosh scorching. We did break a little sweat but it wasn't the end of the world. There are some steps at the end. That said if you just take your time and enjoy the hike you know it's nothing too much to worry about. Just pace yourself and enjoy the view. It's beautiful and very peaceful. Y'all, it's beautiful out here. We are about to be, I think we already are, but in the center of a crater. Got those uh, Attack on Titan and Bossing Say vibes. All right, trapped in the middle of the mountain. Let's go. No, but for real, when I tell you I forgot all my worries out here, I mean it. This was so serene. Y'all, it's good. We're out here. All right. You see the glisten? You see the glisten? That's sweat. That's sweat. Let me stop. <laughs> very, very beautiful. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm talking like this because the hike is over, but there were moments where... Yo, YouTube, they got stairs. They got like steep, they got Amsterdam style stairs. Y'all. <laughs> We're in a tunnel. Y'all, we are in this. I don't know where we're at. I'm gonna stop talking, I'm out of breath. Okay, bye. Oh, we tunnel? Y'all, doing this with a mask on is like a thousand times harder because it's hot. But anyways, for those wondering, it was crowded, but not overly crowded. You had people in front of you and behind you, but there was a good amount of pace steps between y'all, or you would just pass people by and, you know, say, excuse me, or pull your mask up. You could see actual, yes, definite, definite, maybe not attack on Titan, because the Titans would be like, what's this, Smash? Maybe bossing say vibes for sure with the wall. Yeah. Oh, sun shining. Yo, if you are anywhere sunny or this beautiful, take this as a sign to get your ass outside, even if it's just for like 10 minutes to an hour. This was so refreshing. I love interrupting my vacations with some type of outdoor involvement. I cannot stay inside all day. So yeah, this was definitely worth it. Our entry was covered, but I think it's a few bucks without the Go City Pass and the shuttle. Yo, 
y'all isn't that wild like just the landscape we got mountains valleys all that you see everybody like living their life just in between these mountains and valleys that's wild hawaii had the landscape for sure very jealous also if you don't go with a group or a tour you have the freedom to stay as long as you want and then at the end you are able to sit at these picnic tables in a field when we went there was a food truck available as well as a juice stand oh it's good I feel very alive right now. That's great, beautiful. You look busted. No, I'm joking. That said, I do love hikes. I feel like you have really clear skin afterwards. I feel like the sweat pushes out stuff in your pores and rejuvenates. I don't know. Y'all, the ocean just doesn't stop. And it's the part where... Oh, it's wild that we build machines that fly over a body of water this big. But anyways, <laughs> I say as I caught a plane here. Oh no, focus. That said, when we landed you could barely see where the sky okay that's just my camera out of focus but you could barely see where the water and the sky met now it's more clear before when we landed it was just a blur it just looked like blue like an ombre blue like this is a giant painting that we're all stuck in that's so crazy all right so do helicopters actually land there though because i know two h's one's a hospital and one's a helicopter and it doesn't look like a hospital Hawaii really is a visual paradise from the water to the land to the sky. Everything is just unnecessarily gorgeous. I love it here. I'm vibing with it. at least the side of Hawaii I'm seeing. I know I can't speak for I'm only on one island, so I can't speak for, you know, the series of islands. But right now, right here where I'm at, it's very gorgeous and I'm grateful to be here. It's just a whole vibe. I love it. But yeah, that said, I'm happy I got to go clear my head with the hike. Look at these stairs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is closed, y'all, but look at those stairs. I'm telling you, Amsterdam vibes all day. Y'all, we are speculating whether the Hunger Games is filmed here and also learning that Hawaii has a lot of filming locations and no wonder why. Look at the views, the terrain, the jungle vibes. This is really gorgeous. New animal sighting unlocked. This is my first time seeing a mongoose. All right, so we are enjoying lunch. I didn't even bother throwing this in the food vlog because I know y'all are gonna be like, really, Danny, a hot dog? You showed us a Hawaiian hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> the food at the bottom of the hike at the food truck they had i believe they only had one was very affordable it was like a couple dollars here a couple dollars there they had you know your basic stuff so you weren't like starving so that's good we love that but let's keep it moving because we're gonna go snorkeling i think it takes like an hour and a half to like two hours but it took like more so an hour or maybe an hour and a half to come all the way down and stuff they have restrooms at the bottom hold on i'm gonna flip for y'all we had a Go City Pass that took us right to the start of the tour. So we are at the base of the trail with the restrooms. And over there, if you can see that red stand, they have affordable yet hopefully delicious. I haven't tried it yet, but they have affordable food. Got a Dole Pine, Dole, Dole, I don't know. We don't shout out brands. Anyways, we got a pineapple smoothie and a hot dog for lunch. And we're feeling pretty good beautiful out here it's definitely worth it you can definitely see i'll show you in some footage too but you can see how you're inside the crater and it's just a good vibe i would say the hike was like mild to moderate the terrain is pretty rocky at some point and at the end there are a lot of stairs so just be mindful of that but that said going up was kind of a smooth you know um it deviated a little bit but it was a smooth incline but yeah anyways i'll catch you later bye all right, I have mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. If you come to this specific island, just know that everything you want to do or you might be interested in might be on the other side of the island. Do not assume that everything is near you. Look up where you want to go and check it on the map. You might actually need to plan a ride share or whatever it is to get to where you need to go. So that said, we went ahead and called a ride share because we wanted to go snorkeling. It cost us like, I think 30 to 40 bucks one way so you know total 60 to 80 one way and back i would say if you can 
can combine all your activities that are close to each other in an area in one day, do so. Save your coins, do what you got to do. But that said, the ride up here was lovely. Oh my goodness. You got the ocean on one side, you have like rocks on the other side, and there was a comfortable incline on the way. Y'all, these human flippers were hella hard to walk in. Like, I don't know how y'all do it. I am very impressed because I could not. I struggled putting them on. I struggled taking them off. Walking to the ocean, walking out the ocean, regardless, it was a struggle. They're very sticky and tight on your feet, but I don't know. It was just, I haven't gotten used to it. I think it would take some practice. I was just saying how amazing it is to be a surfer and the discipline it takes because the fact that you saw the ocean and decided you wanted to go stand on it, and try to conquer it that's beautiful that's amazing <gasps> with our go city pass we were able to rent snorkel gear and i thought my first snorkeling experience would be an elegant dive through crystal clear waters y'all it was chaos i can't even say controlled chaos i couldn't control anything not my camera not myself not my gear not how i moved my body and navigated the waters none of it none of it it was a mess but like i said i am so grateful for the experience because it still was very marvelous it was just um <laughs> I wanted to provide some more information so originally we wanted to go snorkeling at Hanuma Bay I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly that is what you hear every time people mention snorkeling whether it's a tourist site or I think even if you were to ask the locals I can't vouch for it personally but I think that's just where people snorkel I did meet somebody and they were like hey I wanted to take my kids there but they were closed for some reason so I think that's the spot that said, we ended up at Mackay Research Pier. Would I recommend it? Absolutely not. Hear me out. The area was absolutely gorgeous, but I did read online from a few people that that's a more advanced place. It's not really like, oh, a tourist, beginner type of snorkeling environment. There were a lot of rocks, and it wasn't personally the smooth, clear snorkeling experience I was personally looking for, and my friend actually got hurt. She cut her leg while she was in the water and started bleeding. She is okay, and we ended up making our way back so we could stop at a store and she could take care of the cut before we went to the hotel but i just wanted to throw that out there that this is not like oh my gosh this is the spot danny recommended it no 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 danny did not recommend it uh actually somebody at the snorkel rental place did and i i don't think it was the best recommendation because like i said i just feel like it was not a beginner spot if i dare step foot in the water i like knowing more people are around as a safety precaution and there weren't that many people there it just wasn't the best spot but we still had a great time anyways thank you for watching i'll see you on the next adventure bye